And we're back. We are. Mm. He's still here. <laughs> this is my seat now. Been here a week. God dear. Um, the inspiration? A royal tantrum. I'm intrigued. So what, what, what was the... Uh, hold, hold the bottle up so we can well, see the, the, the colour. But... Uh, um, well, after a certain person from the royal family had a little bit of a tantrum and sold his soul to the press, I was walking my dog and I thought, mm, he had the right old royal tantrum. And I thought, hmm, royal tantrum. I could make a ginger sauce named <laughs> after a certain royal person. So hmm. I came up with this sauce and then it's got a little crown on there and it's tilted. So... <laughs> I love it, yeah, show you the, the label's brilliant, I think, on that, isn't it? So, so um, yeah, a ginger hot sauce with a serious bite. I should have put attitude, really, shouldn't I? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, scotch bonnet, pineapple, ginger, shallots, garlic, carrot, sugar, uh, pineapple juice, pineapple, ginger, and, and pineapple, pineapple juice. juice. All right, okay. Uh, cider vinegar, maple syrup, uh, lime juice, olive oil, water, and sea salt. Excellent. I think it's an absolutely beautiful colour. Both of us <coughs> are, are big fans of uh, of pineapple mm. in sauces as well. I think it makes it really versatile. Did I mention it's got ginger in it? And ginger. Ginger. Yes. <coughs> yeah. The ingredient. But yeah, something about it's, it's those those flavours, isn't it? Sort of ginger and pineapple and things like that. They're just really like, like, like sunshine flavours for me. So I've uh, had two people try the sauce, and I've only time I asked them I tried it was when it was going into the bottles. So I haven't tried it since. Okay. It's like you're studying for a test. Mm. Yeah, I get pineapple straight away. And then there's that, just a little ginger kind of hint kind of comes through. As, as, the, as you open the sauces, obviously mm. the heat opens up and the flavours come out. So but Yeah, the more I'm getting in there, the more ginger I'm smelling, but I'm definitely getting a little hint of the shots. Yeah, a big hit of ginger just then. Mm. I think what I like about this as well, so you've got, you know, the pineapple, which is going to give you a little bit of sweet and sour. You've got um, the um, maple syrup as well, which is, it's, I don't know if anybody's never tried maple syrup before. It's a slightly different sweetness to normal sugar, mm -hmm. isn't it? There's almost a, like a hint of a slightly savoury, almost salty note, I find, with, uh, it's almost with maple, maple syrup. Like. Almost maple like. Almost maple like a tree. But uh, yes, so we are of course going to be tasting this with our Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat tasting spoons. Mm. Well, I guess I'll just have the big spoon then. <laughs> so, after you. After me today, all right, fine. Yeah. It's also a thicker sauce. So it's ginger and thick. Well, I think the carrots give it a nice body. And um, sweetness. Oh, wow, carrots. yeah. There we go. Look at that. It's got a really nice texture. It's almost like a mountain. To that. Oh, now you really get the ginger. You're getting Harry coming out the bottle. I mean, sorry, did I mention his name? <laughs> it's just like, this is like talking about he who should not be named, isn't it? <laughs> yes. As long as she doesn't come out the bottle and destroy it. But that is... That's lovely because it's kind of got the like you, you're getting the pineapple, the ginger again. Once you know, like you're out in the open, that really, really comes through. You get a lot more of the shallot, but it's got that real kind of sweet and savoury aroma. <coughs> mm, I can imagine it on a stir fry or something mm. like that. I was straight away thinking, sort of stir fry, spring rolls, that kind of thing from the the aroma. Ginger stirring it up? No, never. I didn't make this one when I 
the awards are up because I could have sent it in for the Asian awards. Right. Cheers. There we go. Cheers, guys. Oh, ginger straight away. Mm. It's quite hot with the ginger. This is good. I was going to say, I'm going to let you go first this time. Ginger. Pineapple and ginger. And it's got Absolutely fabulous combination. Um, you get the garlic. You get the shallots. But that pineapple and the ginger is just, that's clever. Mm. I like that. I thought it was nice to me. So like, yeah, as, as you said, ginger for me came up through straight away. <coughs> Quite quickly start to follow by the, the sweetness from the pineapple. Um, then I was starting to sort of chew through the little pulpy bits and I was getting extra, like really fresh bursts of ginger from that. Then I start to get the, the slightly savoury notes from the, the shallot and the garlic. But then the underlying sort of continuing sweetness of the pineapple and that little hint with the maple syrup. Mm. That's just that that slightly you know, same different type of sweetness. You know, it's it's quite versatile because, you know, having having the sort of garlic and shallots in there gives it a savoury note. But again, you know, that will make it brilliant, as we were saying, stir fries. Mm um sort of enhancing asian things but i could probably see myself using that as a, a sweet sauce i think you lost another sauce now i'd actually put that it's going to say nuts but i would actually put that with with pancakes okay. quite happily yeah savory pancakes well, I, would, I would do sweet pancakes with that i think there's enough there's enough sweetness in there that it would actually carry through maybe some you know like some fresh fresh fruits with it okay. it's got that caribbean when thing when you get on your pot noodles and you don't think it's hot mm. enough or you've got a bit more flavor a few yeah. drops but it's a it's a nice heat as well from the scotch bonnet you kind of get that sort of the fruitiness of that coming through and the zing from that not too <laughs> much from a heat perspective in the mouth just on my tongue but i am getting kind of the warmth sort of going down from that but not not crazy crazy hot definitely not for somebody who's not a chibi head but i think there's a nice a nice heat there to it i think most of the things is that you have to try and with food and most people you don't eat normally sit at home and well, obviously you do <laughs> and you got a spoon but <laughs> yeah i think the food pairings make a difference <coughs> don't they yeah i can see that working quite well with um like noodles mm. um yeah, pretty much any Asian inspired kind of dish uh, work very nicely with it, having that ginger in there. Um, mm, heat for you? Uh, I'd probably say it's probably about a tea for me. Mm, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good, high it's, two for me. Yeah, you've got you've got two things going on there, haven't you? You've got kind of like the the heat from the the scotch bonnet but then you've got that slightly different kind of longer warmth that you get from ginger mm. so you know certainly i think it's another one that would would build the more you have of it you know the more you're going to experience that heat but it's it is two different types of i'll say something you can stir there. into food if you want to pour it onto your load of chicken and cook it it'd be great but i think there's enough sugars in there as well that you, you could you could caramelize couldn't you if you brushed it onto to chicken or like a firm white fish yeah it would probably work quite well with the mm. sugars and the, the maple syrup and the, the pineapple there barbecue season's coming it is so i think for uh it's probably quite a fair rating in here of five out of ten um i think for a normal person it's going to be warm it's scotch bonnet they're quite warm chilies um so yeah i think five out of tens 
very fair. Um, would this be your first venture into hot sauce? Probably not, but if you've had a few and you like the old chili, then uh, yeah, plot 34achilles.com. If you're not a fan, fan of some royal person, carry on buying it and uh, <laughs> show them how much you think he's having a tantrum. It's, I love it, I love the name. It's got that Markle got... sparkle, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I, that's a, that's a, I think it's a great source, and I think it, you know, it's going to be pretty versatile as well. So definitely, Yummy. definitely, I'm going to show the crown. <laughs> Slightly jarred. <laughs> I love it. A tilted crown. <laughs> so I think that's quite enough from us for now. Before Indeed. we probably end up on some MI5 watch list. We've got another <laughs> six sources to try. We have, so keep an eye out over Obviously coming not weeks. my one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Thank, thank you very much, much, guys. Well, thank you very much for being here. Yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you and for bringing those along and sharing us. No, it's no problem Sharing them all. with us. So, uh, yeah, I think we're being well and truly spoiled here because uh, I'm, I'm good for the next little while. I don't know what you're having, but... <laughs> don't worry I, don't, I just you can always do take two and then you can have some more I spent spend my entire life trying to get the bloody bottle neck things off you know <laughs> I'll still be here next winter <laughs> yeah so thank you ever so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed it thank you very much see you all soon yeah take care and I'll see you in the next one so I, won't be, I won't be here <laughs>